Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Good Shepherd, the door, and he gives up his life for the sheep. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, videos subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear something? And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. We need your gift in these dark times. John 10 is the text for um, this current Sunday, um, yesterday. Um, it'll be the text for next week for the three-year series, but I just want to key in on one thing. Um, and so he said again to them, Jesus said again to them, Amen, I'm going to say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, through me, he will be saved. That is a passive future. We don't save ourselves. He saves us. And we'll go in and find pasture. We'll, uh, we'll go in and go out and find pasture, find a um, good field. The thief comes only to steal, klepto, kill, thuse, and destroy, apolese. But I have come so that they might have life and have it, uh, perison, um, abundantly. That is the text. Okay, so um, the thing to note here is he's the door. He's the entrance into eternal life. I want you to sort of picture uh, an ancient sheep pen, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a room or, a, or an earth or earthen structure with some, um, it might have, if it doesn't have a roof, if it's a summer home for the sheep and it doesn't have a roof, then it'll probably have some like... Um, like uh, thorny bushes on the top of it, um, around it too, in order to keep the, the wolves from, you know, you know, um, the door. Um, sometimes these these earthen structures, which may have just been be built by rocks, um, stacked up rocks, they may not have actual doors. And the person who served as the door for the sheep pen was the shepherd. He would lay across the um, the door, the entrance. Uh, sometimes they would use um, um, actual actual sort of blocking like rocks and stuff like that. But sometimes they would just lay in front. It depends on on how much time they have, whether they were sort of pushing the sheep against um, the hill and the like. Anything which would allow them to be the only entrance and exit for the sheep. He's the door. Now, is he really the door? Yes, he says so. Is he a symbolic door? No, he's really the door. He's the one that you enter into in order to get eternal life. The angel bars the door no more. Standing there now is the son of God who gave up his life a ransom for many. And this text is also really, really good because of the, the repetition of it. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his lead uh, for, his, for the sheep. He says it over and over and over again. So the idea that there's a good shepherd means that there are a lot of bad shepherds. The good shepherd is the one who lays down his life for the sheep. The bad shepherd is the one that when he sees the wolf coming, goes, let's see, death, no insurance, or I just flee to the new, the next town and find more employment there and hope the wolves don't come. The good shepherd is the one that stands in the gap and gives up his life to save the sheep. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy the sheep. He doesn't enter into the door. That's how you know that he's a thief. I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. And in this, in him being the door, through him you are saved. Not you might be saved, you could be saved if you get your stuff together, if you're serious enough, if you're committed enough, if you love God enough. No, he is the door. 
and he gives up his life for the sheep and they are saved by his holy life and bitter sufferings and death. So the thing to remember today is the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Jesus is very emphatically the sheep, the shepherd. You are sheep. Jesus is very emphatically the door for you to enter into. And the comfort is enter into the door. He completely missed that. You have eternal life. I'm Pastor George Borkart and Thor. And this is another Higher Things video short.